Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Friday of September the 8th. I'm Rafi Boyajian, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be having a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So the main mover uh, today, or rather yesterday, uh, is the euro. Uh, the single currency surged after uh, the ECB's uh, policy meeting, uh, despite uh, some fairly dovish remarks by President Mario Draghi. Uh, he did nevertheless uh, give a strong signal that uh, the ECB will announce at the October meeting uh, its decision to wind back uh, its asset purchases. So this fueled uh, the Euro's uh, rally, uh, hitting another two and a half year high. Uh, this had a negative impact on the US dollar. The, the US dollar uh, is down sharply against the yen and we're also seeing the US Treasury yields uh, drop uh, to 10 months lows. Uh, and of course the weaker dollar has pushed up other majors, uh, particularly the Aussie and the Kiwi. Both are up sharply uh, this morning. Uh, the drop in Treasury yields as well as uh, general government bond yields, uh, particularly in the Eurozone as well, um, has um, is boosting demand for safe havens uh, such as gold. Uh, and in oil prices, we had the uh, inventory numbers yesterday out of the US, uh, which um, was close to expectations. We saw um, crude stocks rise, rising and gasoline stocks falling. Um, but the, although Hurricane Harvey is, uh, has passed away, we are seeing um, three more hurricanes in the region, uh, and that is weighing on US crude prices. Uh, we are seeing a bit of a divergence between Brent crude and WTI uh, crude prices. Uh, but let's start now with the euro. We can see uh, there was a bit of volatility yesterday uh, during uh, Draghi's press conference. Uh, the, there was a bit of a surprise uh, that the ECB maintained its uh, easing bias in its forward guidance. Uh, this weighed on um, Gaun bond yields, particularly German bond yields, uh, which uh, which fell uh, after the announcement. Uh, and although Draghi did say that uh, the bulk of the decisions regarding tapering uh, will be taken in October, he didn't commit to that date. Uh, and also we did see a downward uh, revision to inflation target by the ECB for 2017 and 2018. So it was overall uh, fairly dovish, but the fact that uh, the ECB did um, is heading towards tapering that pushed up the euro. It did hit a th th 32 months high of 1.2092 uh, earlier uh, today. Uh, and also what also helped uh, the euro high was the fact that Draghi didn't really uh, use strong language to talk down the the sharp appreciation of the single currency. He did say that uh, uh, he, on, he, he only said that uh, the ECB would take into account the stronger euro um, in setting policy with regards to uh, its impact on growth and inflation. Uh, but markets um, overall um, weren't too worried uh, about those remarks. So that's why we saw the euro um, making sharp gains uh, across the board, uh, not so much uh, against the yen though. Um, but let's have a look at the dollar because dollar yen uh, is at a 10 month low 107.57. The dollar index is at a 32 month low of 91.01, recovering uh, uh, mildly to around 91.27 uh, at the moment. Uh, there's a number of factors weighing on the greenback. Uh, we've got a more dovish Fed due to uh, a, weak inf a weakening inflation outlook. Uh, we are seeing um, it's becoming increasingly likely that the hurricanes uh, in the region will uh, potentially impact third quarter growth. Uh, we also have, of course, the geopolitical risks surrounding North Korea, as well as uh, the ongoing uncertainty about uh, Trump's presidency, uh, especially with regards to tax reforms. We had New York Fed President William Dudley speaking yesterday. He was uh, a bit more dovish than his previous spe speech. Uh, he didn't um, repeat his view that he expects ways to go out one more time this year and said that um, the, the, the Fed's uh, the Fed rating, raising rates gradually uh, is uh, conditional uh, on inflation uh, rebounding. Um, so all of this is uh, really driving down U.S. Treasury yields. Uh, they're at a 10 months low uh, since uh, around election time. Uh, Gold is benefiting from uh, the dollar weakness. It did uh, touch uh, a fresh one year high of $1,357 uh, an ounce. 
uh, there's a, a bit of a risk uh, potentially of the weekend uh, where North Korea may use uh, the celebrations on Saturday, which is uh, the celebration of when the, the country was founded, uh, to conduct uh, a fresh uh, another missile test. Uh, Trump, although he has somewhat toned down his rhetoric, uh, he's still keeping the option uh, military uh, op, uh, military uh, action against North Korea open. He did say that while he would not prefer going to the root of the military, um, if we do use it, it will be a very sad day for North Korea. Uh, other safe havens such as the Swiss franc uh, are also up against the dollar. The Swiss uh, uh, dollar franc dropping to a two-year low of 0 0.9419, uh, while the yen uh, is up against uh, most major currencies, uh, including uh, the euro. Let's have a quick look at the other major pairs. We can see on the top uh, left corner, the pound is uh, at a more than one month high. Um, it, hit, it did hit 1.3149, currently trading just below those highs. Uh, there's a major possible risk uh, event on Monday where UK Parliament will uh, debate the Brexit bill and will vote on it uh, if, uh, if the uh, the bill gets voted down, it could potentially uh, hurt the Brexit negotiations as well as uh, um, put Theresa May's leadership into uh, further doubt. Uh, the OC hit a two-year high of 0.8124. Uh, it's dropped uh, back below the 0.81 level at the moment, but overall it is looking uh, very bullish for the day. Uh, we did have a bigger than expected increase in housing finance in Australia in July, so that also helped uh, the Aussie. Uh, while in New Zealand we had uh, manufacturing data showing strong growth in the second quarter, uh, that gave the Kiwi a bit of a boost uh, and, the power, uh, and also that we have the weaker do dollar also helping the Kiwi high, giving this, uh, uh, the currency a bit of a respite from its recent sharp losses over election uncertainty. Uh, the Kiwi is currently trading near two and a half week highs. Uh, the Canadian dollar is also up against the dollar. It also hit a two year high, uh, reaching 1.2057 uh, against the greenback. Uh, looking at oil prices now, we can see in uh, purple is uh, is Brent crude. Uh, Brent crude is actually um, at a four and a half months high. Uh, it hit 54.80 a short while ago, currently trading at 54.70.65. Uh, uh, but we can see here uh, that since August, uh, Brent crude, uh, sorry, WTI crude has been consolidating. Um, it fell towards the end of August uh, due to um, the uh, well ongoing concerns about supply glut, uh, but then um, it did recover with the help of um, 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 the uh, Hurricane Harvey. Uh, we can see it's currently trading at f around $49 uh, announced. Yesterday we had the weekly US inventory numbers showing that uh, as expected US crude stocks did rise uh, last week uh, where the, we, we saw the brunt of the hurricane uh, impact while gasoline and distilled uh, stocks uh, fell. Looking at today's economic calendar, it's been a rather busy day. We had a downward revision to Japanese GDP. Um, it was revised down sharply from 4% to 2.5% in the second quarter, even falling below uh, the estimates of 2.9%, but the yen uh, wasn't really impacted much from this data. Um, we also had uh, German export data, which, is, which was on the weak side. Uh, UK in output, industrial output was more or less in line with expectations and a bit better than expected trade balance. The focus later in the day uh, will be on um, Canadian employment figures. Um, uh, and also worth mentioning that we had Chinese trade data as well, uh, which we saw imports surging by 13% uh, in August. Uh, so that's overall a po uh, positive sign uh, for um, for global uh, demand. Uh, and also worth watching out for later in the day is the Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker. Harker is due to speak at 12.45 GMT. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.